Every morning I come out and water all of my flowers and basically while I'm filling up the watering can, I go around and pull the weeds. So I usually spend about 15 to 20 minutes out here a day unless it rains. And it just rained yesterday. We had a pretty bad storm so I didn't have to water anything. But I have this bucket and my whoppers and I just go around and trim stuff, you know, things that have already bloomed that need to be trimmed or, you know, things that are starting to look overgrown. And that really, really helps. So, like I said, just while I'm, you know, filling up the water can or I'll take an additional, like, five minutes and go around with my whoppers. And we have a ton of landscaping. So we have all of this on the side, all of our backyard, which you guys have seen um, in videos. And then our front yard has a ton of landscaping and flowers and everything. So we really have to be on the ball with it or it will just be overgrown and we usually have to take one day in the spring when you know the weather is nice and just go around and um, trim everything up and stuff like that and we still have some things that we want to do I want to have someone separate my lilies there's a rock under there so it's really hard to do and there's so many so um, we'll probably at some point hire someone to do that but um, we haven't had much rain at all and the grass was like getting a little bit brown we have a sprinkler system so that really helps um, but we had a huge storm and I get asked a lot about my patio furniture too um, we take the cushions off when we know it's going to rain and put them in the garage and they're really easy to put on and off they can handle a little sprinkle I mean they are weather resistant but it takes you know a little while for them to dry so that you know makes sense to just put them in the garage and then pull them back out but like I said we we don't actually get a ton of rain in the summer so it's not like we're doing it every couple of days or anything and we just make our boys do it anyway um so yeah this is our furniture without all the cushions and if you want to see my patio tour video I will link that below it's early I wanted to get out here early because it is so hot and muggy um so I haven't done anything in the house yet <laughs> but yeah got the yard work done so yeah it's really simple I just spent about 15 to 20 minutes out here and I actually like doing it so it's not even really that big of a chore I like getting out in my yard and and stuff so no big deal. Gotta get the laundry going. I've talked about laundry a few times on my channel, but I still get asked about it a lot, so I thought I would share what I do. Uh, one thing that really helps is we separate our own laundry, so I really just have to throw a load of laundry in when it's Full. I usually do one load a day. A couple times a week I can get away with not doing laundry and I only do it when I have a full load. I am still using my crystal wash balls. That's what I have there. I love those. If you'd like more information on those, you can check their website. I'll leave a link below. Um, but they are detergent free and great for sensitive skin and they last for a thousand washes. So they're great. And for hand washing things, I use the Tide without dyes and perfumes because I know for sure that's one thing that Christian and I aren't allergic to. I'm sure it's not like, the best thing ever, but it works well for us and I know we're not going to break out. So I usually hand wash like any shirts that need to be hand washed and then my bras and of course I use my cleaning gloves so that I can protect my hands and keep my nail polish looking nice. So this is what I've been drinking for the coffee and then she goes in my grocery haul video and I'm not telling anyone to give up coffee or anything like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with coffee at all. I've drank it for years. Um, the only reason I gave it up was because I have had a hard time sleeping for like years, <laughs> like staying asleep. I usually only sleep like five hours at a time. And I thought, well, I'll just try it one day and see. And I honestly didn't expect it to do anything because I only drink coffee in the morning. 
but what I noticed is I didn't get tired in the afternoon like I normally do. Normally I I get really tired at like 3 or 4 o'clock, but I don't. So it's really helped and I think it has helped me to sleep a little bit. So yeah. Speaking of getting enough sleep, if you've never used a sleep mask, if you have a hard time sleeping, these things are amazing. I just picked this one up at Meijer. I probably wouldn't have picked up one that says do not disturb, but I wanted a black one just because I wanted to really black out all of the light and everything, and it works so well. I can sleep for days. I will like pull it off of my face and have no idea what time it is, and it's great. So I have been getting more sleep. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I struggle with getting enough sleep from time to time. It's just, yeah, I'm a really light sleeper and lots of different things. So I've been getting more sleep and it's been good. I feel a lot better. I am making my smoothie for breakfast and I thought I would show it to you. It's a green smoothie, but it ends up being purple with <laughs> all of the berries. But I have one cup of water and then I usually put in about two cups of spinach. And I have shared this several times, but one trick for making your spinach or lettuce last longer is to put a linen like napkin or a tea towel or something in there. Uh, this will absorb some of the moisture and it will last at least three days longer, if not more than that. So you can see, oops, you can see it's not all wet in there. So I just put a couple handfuls in there. This is a great way to get your greens. I usually eat greens at lunchtime anyway, but they are good for you. And then I usually do one cup of berries. I like the antioxidant blend from Costco. It has pomegranate and a big cherries in it. Um, but I just got this berry blend that's coming. And I like to use frozen berries and frozen bananas because it makes the smoothie have a really nice creamy texture instead of, you know, where it's all liquidy. And then I just do like one and a half bananas. This does make a lot. Um, I have this before I go to the gym and I need, you know, a good amount of calories. So if you don't want a lot in the morning, you could either share it or you could just, you know, make about half of what, what I am doing. I'm just gonna blend it all up. So there it is. It's like a red, purpley color, but you can see this, the texture is really nice and creamy. And that's what I like. So I'm just going to sit and have my smoothie and read my book. A lot of you ask what I am reading. So I am currently reading The Missing by Jane Casey. I was on the hunt for this and I mentioned it in a vlog uh, probably a month or so ago. And a subscriber sent it to me. So I haven't read it yet. I was finishing up the uh, Maeve Kerrigan series by Jane Casey which is really good. And I have one book left in that series, but I requested it from another library, so I'm just waiting for it to be sent to my library. So I figured I would read this one. It's really good so far. I am on page 80, so um, I haven't gotten too far into it, but it's really good so far. I just got back from the gym. I did abs, legs, and cardio. And here is my lunch. I mix up my salads all the time, so this is what I'm having today. I have romaine lettuce, some grape tomatoes, red bell pepper, red onion, sesame seeds, which give it a great crunch, some grilled chicken and feta cheese, and the dressing is lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil. All right, guys, I haven't vlogged in a few hours. I had to do a few things for YouTube and just like cleaning up you know, got ready and my boys are around so I was hanging out with them I had to run one of them somewhere and different things like that so I didn't vlog but I need to run an errand really quickly I need to run to Meyer and return a couple things and I just need to grab a couple things so it won't take me very long I am starting dinner I got my race going 
And I am making this cucumber salad. I've mentioned this a few times and I've linked it before when I made it uh, for dinner, but it is so good. I love cucumber salad, so I make a couple different types, but this one is really good and really simple to make. Here is the cucumber salad. Like I said, it's really good. So I will leave a link for the recipe in case you would like to try it. Whoa, huge storm coming in. We're all standing around watching it. Josh is hoping his basketball hoop doesn't knock over. We totally needed the rain. Ducks are still out there? Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a few of them. Poor things. <laughs> I just feel badly for the ducks. Christian loves ducks. That was one of the reasons he wanted to live here. It is pouring like crazy, but we totally needed the rain. That's our uh, gutter extension. This is about a month's worth of rain right here. Yeah. Let's see if I can show you how hard it's raining. Oh, wow. Got a big bowl of watermelon out and that keeps my family in the kitchen. <laughs> if you guys saw my old house, I could never have everyone in my kitchen while I was cooking, but now I love it because they're all hanging out in here over in the breakfast nook area. Now I'm cooking dinner. I'm making chicken masala. It's the summer sauce from Trader Joe's. I made it one other time I mentioned it. And then I mentioned it in my grocery haul, and I really like it, but it's really good, and there aren't any, you know, weird ingredients in it. Really good. And I like to serve it over rice with cilantro on it. So here it is. I always put a ton of cilantro on. If you have watched me for a while, you know I love cilantro. So we're on to our new show. We're watching 24 now. We've been searching for quite a while for something to watch and then we landed on this. So we've actually been getting it from the, the library here. So we just rent one uh, or, you know, check out a couple, uh, couple DVDs at a time. So we've been enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, let me know if you guys have watched 24. We didn't watch it the first time it was on TV. I think we mentioned it before, I didn't realize it was something like 15 years old or whatever, so <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good show. Yeah. And Jennifer's actually reached a major milestone. We're only on season one and she actually knows about half of the characters' names. <laughs> Usually she can go for about, you know, like four seasons and she'll start to figure out some of their names. <laughs> John has this incredible memory for like Every TV show, every movie, he can remember, like, scenes from things that he watched when he was, like, 14. And sometimes even four. <laughs> <laughs> like the Smurf. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to get, like, 20 episodes in, or maybe two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get through half of one, and then we'll... <laughs> To wake you up. Yeah, I need to get my foot massage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching.